Hi, welcome to Get In, the software-defined vehicle podcast from BlackBerry. With this series, we're diving into what the future of transportation just might look like. So don't just stand there, get in. Hi, I'm Steve Kofsky, Editorial Director for BlackBerry, and we are in the Amazon Web Services AWS booth here at CES 2023. And man, it's looking crowded here. The show just opened a few minutes ago, and that's a really good sign. Makes me glad to be here, and I'm very glad to be with a distinguished guest and partner for BlackBerry, and I'd like you to introduce yourself, please. Sure, thank you. Um, first and foremost, it's awesome to have you in our booth. And wow, what a CES 2023. It's already started out to be. Um, my name is Wendy Bauer, and I am the general manager for AWS Automotive and Manufacturing Industries. So as you can see, you're in our Amazon for Automotive booth where we're showcasing many great technologies we'll talk about today. Okay. Yeah, I saw I saw Lucid down there that I want to go check out <laughs> later. Um, there's a lot going on here in the booth that I'd love to hear about it. Mm -hmm. Um, let's start with how BlackBerry and Amazon are sort of partnering at this explosive time in automotive. Um, what is Amazon doing in this marketplace? What are you trying to achieve? Yeah. So leading our automotive business, as we do for other industries as well beyond automotive, um, we always want to make sure we focus deeply on what are the trends in the industry? What are the customers, customers along the entire value chain from end customers, OEMs, back to auto retailers and everyone in between? What problems are they really trying to solve? As we think about that, we also recognize very clearly that speed of innovation is key. And we know that there are so many great partner companies out into the industry ecosystems themselves that our customers that we're working to support count on and have very trusted relationships. And our relationship with BlackBerry is a perfect example of how we think of a strategic partner in the industry that our customers have long lasting relationships with. They've built great products and services on those uh, capabilities our partners have. And so for us looking back a couple of years ago as we were thinking about what are our customers asking us to help them solve and do, BlackBerry was key in every conversation. And so to us, it was an obvious place that we really needed to think about how could we partner together to move faster for our customers to really solve jointly their goals, where we know particularly in many cases, you are much better suited for us um, based, on, based on your experiences. And we really bring the best of both companies together. That's wonderful to hear <laughs> and also so smart. I think mm -hmm. for both of the companies that have this expertise in their domains mm -hmm. to bring it together. And, and this, this really is, I think, a decisive time mm -hmm. in automotive. What is your perspective on what's occurring in the automotive industry yeah. right now? I think decisive is a really good word. Um, for me, what is distinctly different in my quick observations of, of the early hours of CES 2023 here in the automotive and vehicle technology and mobility space, you see booths really representing partnerships. It's back to the speed of innovation that I mentioned being so critical and how to bring the best of many companies together to really solve what the industry is facing as very complex issues it's never faced before. Um, so even here in the AWS section of our booth, which we have 11 demos, as you walk around and see the demos across different themes, you'll see it's AWS collaborating with partner companies, again, to really leverage the, the breadth and capability of the AWS cloud capabilities with the best of what partner companies offer. But when you start to work together in those partnerships, the creativity, the innovation speeds up, evolves, grows, and gets bigger. Um, and so I see that tremendously here at this show, more than I even saw three years ago, around partnering. And automotive as an industry historically has had um, reservations or hesitations around partnering. It was uncomfortable. We wanted to do everything ourselves. Yes. I think companies are really starting to see the benefits in getting comfortable with partnering. So that's really loud and clear here. It's kind of a tricky relationship with the OEM manufacturers. 
Um, they need partners, but they don't necessarily want to, uh, and they do use uh, uh, tier one suppliers and tier two and tier three. Um, the amount of that vehicle that they actually build from a hardware standpoint, mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you tore it down, it would be an interesting exercise to do. Um, with software, it's, it's a little bit of a different animal. Yes. But it's very important to, uh, to define what happens underneath and what mm -hmm. the consumer sees, and what is the consumer experience. Yes. That seems to be part of their hesitation in partnering. Yes, yeah, I think when we think about the, the vision for automotive, we see and we work hard to really um, bring to life our role inside of that around software-defined vehicle. Um, you know, it can, from a macro trend, we see the industry realizing that vehicles can be a location where you bring together the best of physical and digital worlds. Also, we see the OEMs wanting to be the architects of those platforms that sit at the center of the customer's lives. But what really becomes the differentiation point is the software that runs on those platforms, but and the possibilities are endless, but really that's the differentiation point. And so for us at AWS, we focus on giving our customers and partners tools to accelerate the innovation but we really want them to be able to, to shift and pivot their, their resources to focus on their points of differentiation and software is now becoming that. Um, and so we see the move to companies really around um, not only developing their strategies, but how to get positioned to deliver upon that promise of how to become a software company. One is around the product and the operating but how do you do it? How do you develop differently? Culturally, what does it mean for your company? Um, and so it's fun in our role. We get to, to work with some of the largest in automotive companies around the world and new startup companies across the entire value chain who are, are thinking through different ways to do this. And you really see culture, trust, collaboration, really through so much of that. Amazonians and AWS, you'll hear a, a phrase that we say often, you may not really deeply appreciate the meaning, um, but it's very powerful when we talk about, we want to do the undifferentiated heavy lifting. And I think if you you know go back when you talk about storage and compute, that's pretty clear, as we've really worked in listen to our customers on the problems they're asking us to help them solve. A lot of what that is now is getting very industry specific but that doesn't change the, the, the core mission around that undifferentiated heavy lifting piece. What it requires is that in healthcare and in automotive and in industrials, financial services, really knowing the industry's disruptive problems, their pain points, and what is that heavy lifting for them and where are they gonna go differentiate and really being able to draw that distinction and then figure out how can we help, right? And that's where we, we still, so, we talk about um, automotive purpose-built offerings, right? And they're still going after that, that very core tenant of the undifferentiated pieces that are not going to drive our customers or our partners' businesses and values and how they show up differently for their customers, but really getting more granular and deeper into the industry-specific stuff that if you didn't really deeply understand the industry, you wouldn't really get to appreciate. Um, and so as we think about car technology, you know, automotive software, for anyone that's been in the industry, knows how complex it is, yes. right? And there's a, just how you manage that, just the tool chains before you even get to the applications, just the, the complexity of tool chains and all that goes into a car, that isn't the point of differentiation and it's not, you know, the applications that really delight the customers it just what enables it to, to come to life. That's absolutely where we're focused on. We feel we, we bring our best there. Well, it, it makes me, it helps me understand the synergy between BlackBerry and AWS because when you talk about providing that, that undifferentiated capability, you could as well have been talking about BlackBerry Q&X. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, one of the things that, uh, that we're doing is working with a consumer brand, Motor Trend, mm -hmm. 
to try to tell this story. And, and in doing that, it's very uh, interesting to me that the editors of Motor Trend were reaching out to the Fords and Stellantis of the world. Mm -hmm. And those people did not know that BlackBerry was part of their vehicles. Yeah. These are executives in some cases. Yeah. Um, so we've done a very good job of yeah. being undifferentiated and doing that heavy lifting mm -hmm. for them. And uh, now that the car is in itself a supercomputer and dealing with vast amounts of data, and we have uh, 5G coming in and allowing us mm -hmm. to, uh, to export that to and from the vehicle, what a perfect time for AWS to come to the rescue of, uh, of the car industry and many others that are gonna follow suit. Yeah, it's definitely an exciting time. I think we always say at Amazon and AWS, it's always day one. Yes. And in many ways, you know, again, I was reflecting, um, go back to CES 2020 when I was last here in person and reflecting on the role and understanding and knowledge of cloud computing, even at the industry level then versus today, boy, is it different, right? And customers are coming with asks and questions and curiosities, and we see companies in different phases of that journey, but it's still really early days on what's possible, which is the excitement. Yeah. Right? And, and you see the innovation throughout this entire um, booth area, not, not just the Amazon booth, but across the entire convention center here. The innovation is incredible and in how you can just bring that and continue to unlock value for end customers and the customers throughout is really exciting. Yeah. I feel like people like yourself and, and others that are at the forefront of this, it's, it's like having an opportunity to talk to one of the Wright brothers um, because it really is a, a, a green field where it goes from here yes. and you've got a front row seat for it. Yes, it's a pleasure. And I really appreciate the partnership we have with the BlackBerry team. It's just incredible. And we appreciate what we continue to learn from you each day and how we're delighting together our customers. Well, thank you so much for spending this thank time giving you. us the AWS perspective and uh, wish you great success because it's going to help my yes. success as an employee of BlackBerry. And, uh, and I hope some listeners learn something as well. Thank you, Wendy. Likewise. Thank you. That's the end of our episode for today. If you'd like more information on the topics or our guests, please check out blackberry.com slash podcast. Get In, the software-defined vehicle podcast, is available wherever you get your podcasts. And don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with our latest episodes. Thanks for joining us.